Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, get the data from robot structure analysis of the drift and uh, lateral replacement and uh, export it to Excel to plot the drift ratio and replacement curve. So now I have a small building here and I have the load combination here. So first you can uh, okay first you can go to the structural axis and see the, uh, the story of the building. So in the Excel here I'm going to create three columns. So first one is height of the building and this should be a in matter and next one is drift ratio so this one is unit less and next one is displacement and it's in uh, millimeter So now uh, the first is zero zero because uh, there's a pin here, and as you can see, each story, uh, uh, each story height is a uh, three point five meter. So I'm going to put three point five here, and the next one is add another three point five. Sorry. So there is a uh, five story. Now we get the uh, the story height. Next, uh, we going to show you. Uh, we going to show the drift ratio and uh, lateral replacement. So you go to uh, tables and go to stories and choose full table and click OK. Next, you. Uh, choose the load combination and in this case I'm going to choose the combination one here and for, uh, in order to easy to uh, understand the combination I'm going to show you in the uh, diagrams for the building here and then uh, I check the deformation so this is the uh, deformation for the combination one and for drift ratio, this is a number. And for the displacement, as you can see here. So for the value of the drift ratio and the placement is located here. So this is the drift ratio. I'm going to copy this and paste it in the Excel file here and also this one for the displacement so you have the data all you have to do uh, is just uh, create a plot so I'm going to choose the data here the x values so for uh, for the first graph here i'm going to plot the drift ratio and this is the height uh, the y uh, value so this is the uh, drift ratio curve so now you got uh, this uh, this curve and next i'm going to copy this and paste and i will uh, rename this as the placement curve sorry so i just need to change the data so i'm, go I'm going to change this one indeed and uh, choose the y value to this one 
So now you got uh, three threshold curve and replacement curve for uh, the building that you uh, analyzes uh, do the analysis in the robot search analysis software. So uh, for uh, other building, we have to do the same. And at last, you can uh, got these two curve and observe the data uh, for your project. So uh, hope you get the idea. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.